Shalom. And welcome to an update. That I'm Shelly Brim, and thank you for joining us. Wow, are we buckling our seatbelts or what? We go to sleep, we wake up, we see that over 5,000 rockets have been shot from the Hamas. By the way, the Hamas is present-day Iran uh, or Persia, biblical Persia. And uh, Hamas from Gaza has shot these rockets into Israel. And so the questions have been coming and flying into the ministry. And we want to just kind of cover a few of our what we know from the word of God. Remember, God's word says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your time. Jesus has talked about wars and rumors of war, and we are in that season right now. Uh, a popular question that has been coming is, is, and it is this, quote, the war in Ezekiel chapters 38 and 39, where it talks about the players, the nations coming the, into the, or on the mountains of Israel. And this is not the mountains of Israel. This is the coastal area of Israel where Gaza is located. You can get a map and see that Gaza is a 14 mile land strip along the Mediterranean Sea. And uh, it belongs legally, according to the word of God, this land strip belongs to the tribe of Judah. And uh, you'll find that in Joshua chapter 14, where Judah's inheritance, one of the 12 tribes, was the southern coastline. But uh, in 2005, our um, governments didn't know that or didn't read it or didn't adhere to it. So there was the Gaza pullout. And therefore, the uh, Palestinians, it's been a nesting place for them, breeding place for them nesting place. And so last night, over 5,000 rockets coming from here. I believe that this is uh, Psalm 83. And so if you have your Bible, I encourage you, we're going to look at a few prayer points to see exactly what we're dealing with. Aren't you thankful for the entrance of God's word to give light on this and how to effectively cooperate with God in prayer? So Psalm 83, verse 1 Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. I have a little keynote Bible here with numbers, and I looked up the word have lifted up. They, they that hate thee. See, this is an ancient, ancient hatred that has gone back for thousands of years uh, with uh, Jacob and Esau, where Jacob received the blessing. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing. And then Jacob rose up and become the father of the 12 tribes of Israel. And each of those tribes got an inheritance. And so we are in the light of God's word to see this is from the tribe of Judah, an attack against Judah. This is Gaza being given away. Now from Gaza, we have this attack. And now we see that they've lifted up the head. They that hate, they have lifted up the head. And that word in Hebrew of lifted up is the word Nas NASA, N-A-S-A. -A. Does that sound familiar with our NASA space program? Well, here in Hebrew, they have lifted up these enemies of Israel, NASA, and you see those, uh, did you see those pictures where those rockets are like being lifted up from the enemy into Israel and killing innocent civilians? And it says they lifted up the head. Now, who is the head of Hamas? That's right, Iran. And so they've lifted up and they've taken, isn't the Bible accurate? Oh my goodness, verse three. And they've taken crafty counsel against thy people crafty counsel. God's calling Israel his people. He's not done away with them. He has a covenant with them. And these plots have consulted against thy hidden ones. And the enemy has said in verse four, same Psalm, Psalm 83, they have said, these enemies, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Oh, how true that is, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Oh, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Oh, how accurate. 
And then it names the list of these nations. So this is like a war of attrition, kind of like sandpaper, you know what I mean? Or like fingernails on a cross on a chalkboard. It just, it's just constant. It's just over and over where it gets on your nerves. And this war has been going on for such a long time. But today is what the, it's unprecedented because now uh, tens of, is, how many Israelis have been uh, killed and, uh, it, and it caught them off guard, so to speak. So here we are at this moment, prayer points. Look at verse number 13. Oh my God. Now this is what you and I can pray. Oh my God, make them like a will. W-H-E-E-L, will. And you look that up in the Hebrew and it's like gal gal. It comes from, um, well, you've heard of the Sea of Galilee, it, it, rolling. And, it, and the God says, we can pray this prayer. Make them like a wheel, like rolling, as stubble before the wind. Boy, doesn't your righteous indignation when you're working with God take up with this word. As the fire burneth the wood, and as the flame setteth the mountains on fire, so persecute them with thy tempest, and make them afraid with thy storm. For, oh, Lord, here in your word we read that we can take these scriptures. Is there a storm? Well, according to the word of God, there can be that we can contend for. Fill their faces with shame. Oh, I love the heart of the Father. Why? That they may seek thy name, O oh God. That's the purpose. Let them be confounded and troubled forever. Yea, let them be put to shame and perish. And then the last verse, 18 that men may know that thou, whose name alone is Jehovah, are the most high over all the earth. That's God's purpose, his signature, his manifestation of divine intervention, that men may know that he is most high over all the earth. So prayer points, specifically through Psalm 83. Now, is this, again, in review, is this the war in Ezekiel 38, 39? No. That war is going to be when these nations, evil nations against Israel, and they're listed, come upon the mountains of Israel. That's like a spinal column. Get your, get your map out of Israel and see specifically where those mountains are. But this could be, with the attack from Gaza, it could be a cover-up not a cover-up. That's a bad word. Distraction. Yeah, a distraction. My daughter's here. This could be, this attack from Gaza could be in a distraction while military uh, evil forces are coming in upon the mountains of Israel. Folks, I'm telling you, it's so wonderful to be able to read the word of God, to stand upon the word, to walk in the light of the word, and to pray in the light of the word. And in the name above every name, I pray for you that the loins of your mind be girded with truth, that you will not be shaken, that you will be founded in Christ Jesus. He is the great high priest of our confession, and he's made us a kingdom of priests. And in him we live and move and have our being and praying in the light of his word with no fear. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thank you for listening, and we'll keep you posted. Blessings.